So today I'll be showing a 360 pick cannon. Um, so you can just select wherever you want to go. And as a little demonstration, I'll be going like 30k blocks out. So what's happening here is um, the pig was just excelled to a high momentum. And we just let it go. So as you can see, um, you land. I mean, it's pretty, pretty cool. So now I'll show how it works. So when you call an entity, or when you select like where you want to go on the panel, what happens is pig gets picked up by a cart, gets float aligned up here. The cart will be executing barrier while the pig will stay behind. Then over here it will select a uh, corner for the pig. And then it starts getting excelled. So um, we see the pig over here, but that's just some desync. So if I just uh, die and come back, we'll see. Pig's right here. And then these pistons here will, um, it'll pinch the pig and that'll cause it to um, like select where to go. That's uh, how you change like its position. So what's actually happening right now is we have a big like binary counter over here. Um, and this is what we use to create the different delays for the different destinations. So we untick freeze. All those boats are pulled and we just delay it over here. Sell by some TNT upwards. And then this will go to the exact same destination right at the beginning. So if we watch. Yeah, and with this you can get to like the world border in about 20 minutes. So if we see, straight here, exact same position we got the first time. So now I'll show um, like a little bit more how it works. So so again the pig gets picked up. But now, if we watch, we see that when the conveyor triggers, um, the pig just starts like not being able to fall and not ticking. So what actually happens is the pig's over here uh, in the cart, and the instant conveyor only conveys over the cart. So the cart gets conveyed all the way over here, and then it gets conveyed up. And then over here, um, you can see the other card entities from like the other times I've used the cannon. So what happens here is the card's put into this fire. And then when we're actually ready to use the cannon, this piston will trigger. And that'll kill the cart. And then that's what sends the pig um, out. So now if we come back over here, um, you can see the pig. Um, this is just all to get the pig out of the conveyor and into the uh, Excel chamber. So now if we go to the overworld side, we can see how um, that boat system works. So if we wash, it'll dispense a bunch of boats, and it just pushes them all into a portal. And when the acceleration is done, um, when the acceleration is done, we'll see them all come out on that side. So when this counter is done, we will see all the boats come out. So, let's give it a bit. Um, and another thing about this is you can change the amount of boats you use. Um, and that's handled by these two pistons. Um, opening and closing these trap doors will change how many boats you get. And then as you can see, when acceleration is done, all the boats come back in as items. And then they're just collected by these hoppers. So now if we go back to the nether, you see the pigs here, 
and this pig's ready to go. Um, and you can see a bunch of other destinations like the world border, diagonal world border. Um, this is the max distance it can go. Um, another cool, like, interesting thing about this cannon is um, the same time it takes to go to like 3.75 million is the same time it takes to go to 3.82 because it excels um, diagonally. So it'll take the exact same amount of time to go diagonally as it does straight. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it.